Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very, very special collaboration video with my dear friend Angelica here on YouTube. Oh my goodness, I was thinking as I was putting this look together, I was talking about how long we've been friends for and it's been quite a few years. So it's very, very special to me. Thank you so much to Angie for collabing with me. And we are gonna go ahead and do the eyeshadow palette tag part two that was created by Samantha March and Allie Glein. So if you guys are curious, if you're nosy, then just keep watching. If this is your first time on my channel, if you're coming over from Angie's, hey, my name is Karen. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup here on my channel. Now that doesn't mean that this channel is only for tan girls or boys or peoples. It is not at all. I think there is a lot of benefit to watching somebody that has a different skin tone from you. And just the other day me and Andrew were talking about this and she actually said like, if something works on me, she definitely knows it's gonna work on her. And that's how I feel when I watch people with different skin tones from me as well. If something shows up really pigmented on somebody lighter than me, then I know it's gonna work for me. And if it shows on somebody with a deep, dark skin tone, that really helps me out as well because I know that something's pigmented enough. So if you like pigmented makeup, if you like new makeup releases, if you like anti-hauls, haul videos, ranking videos, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post, which is quite often. I've been trying to post every other day, but sometimes I post like every day, so I would hate for you to miss it. Don't forget to turn on that bell so you're notified every time I post, and uh, without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, I did film this look. It's coming tomorrow, so be prepared. I'm so, so excited. I feel like a very bam look for me, so that is all the announcements, and and let's start off. I'm gonna leave all the questions down in the description box. So if you are a creator or you just like to answer these questions, then go ahead and do so in the comments. Okay, let's get started. The first question, like she did not hold back. She went for the jugular with this one because if you have a big eyeshadow palette collection like I do, this is like one of the hardest questions people could ever ask. What is your all time favorite eyeshadow palette in your collection? And I was humming and I was hawing because I have Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, Huda Beauty, Beauty Bay, ColourPop, like from high-end to drugstore to affordable to luxury, and I'm sitting there going like, which palette? Like, which palette is your all-time favorite palette? Not just like one you love right now, not one that you loved yesterday, not the one with all the sparkly shadows. Like, which one would you rebuy if you lost all of your eyeshadows? And so I went with the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I just feel like this is a good balance of everything I'm into. Now it doesn't have like really interesting multi-chromes, which I feel like I will miss if I didn't have my collection that I do right now. But as far as everyday looks, I feel like this is a great balance. It has one of my favorite formulas because it has her regular mattes, her cream to powder mattes, her metallics, like this is a great everyday palette. If I wanna throw in some color, I can pull in the colorful mattes and metallics. So I just feel like this is a strong all-round palette. I like the packaging. I think it's nice and durable. It's very sleek and sophisticated. So yeah, if I only had one eyeshadow palette, I think it would be this one. Like I really, really thought about it and this is the one I picked. So yeah, this is my all-time favorite palette. Plus I have really great memories attached to this because I think my husband bought me this palette. I'm pretty sure he did. And we went on a vacation and I bought this palette with me. It was my friend's wedding in Arizona. So it just has great memories, great quality. It's just like an all-around favorite in my collection. Okay, so the next question is new favorite and it's only February, so obviously there's still a lot left in the year, but I will say my new favorite is the Blend Bunny, the Dollhouse palette. And honestly, this is her least colorful palette, if you ask me, in my humble opinion, but it is so beautiful. I feel like right now this is my favorite palette of 2022 it's got some beautiful neutrals but it also has like a colorful aspect to it it's just more muted than what we're used to from blend money i wouldn't even call this a neutral palette i would say it's just a muted 
colorful eyeshadow palette and the formula is wonderful the metallics are beautiful I've created five eyeshadow looks with this palette I will say I haven't used this since I filmed my three looks video with this palette but like I said I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes YouTube is basically my full-time gig right now and I'm trying out eyeshadow palettes day after day and so the fact that this one stood out to me so so much that I wanted to mention it in this category I think is a huge deal so I will link all the corresponding videos I have that you guys might find useful with the palettes I'm mentioning today so make sure you check it out and this one was sent to me from Blend Bunny so I just wanted to let you guys know and anything that was sent to me that's featured in this video I will definitely make sure I mention that just so you guys know as well okay the next question is keep for the memories and I know what palette I'm going to mention I don't have it with me because we moved in like September and then I had a baby in November and I never got to unpacking some of my like makeup that I was decluttering and things like that my beauty room is mostly done but I do have some boxes with makeup that I haven't unpacked yet and so this palette is in one of those boxes. The palette I keep for the memories, I have a few of them, but the one I want to mention is the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA collab. I can't believe I wore that palette on my wedding day because it's a beautiful color story. It's kind of a neutral palette. It did have like a dupe for MAC blue-brown in it and I just think it's so funny that I wore that palette because I don't know if that palette launched now, if I would buy it. So that's the palette that I keep for the memories because obviously my wedding day was a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, the next question is underrated. And basically, like, don't make me pick between my favorite children, so I'm just going to show both of these. But in general, I would just say the Beauty Bay eyeshadows are underrated, specifically the ones in this format. I haven't tried a lot of their other palettes because they do have some bigger palettes and some smaller palettes and, like, different formats of eyeshadow palettes. But these ones are so good. Like, let me just give you some swatches because I feel like the swatches of the metallics really do these palettes justice and they're so creamy and beautiful that I just can't like at the end of the day it's like why do other brands charge as much as they do for eyeshadows when you can pick up a Beauty Bay palette for under $20. As the MLM Huns like to say, the math ain't math in on these eyeshadow palettes, okay? These are so nice. I have the Age of Opulence as well as the Wilderness palette here. I'm dreading doing my 2021 eyeshadow palette ranking video because I'm like, how am I supposed to pick? How am I supposed to pick my favorite eyeshadow palette? It's so hard, but I love those and I just feel like the beauty community here on YouTube knows how good the Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes are. I do feel like they're slowly getting more popular because a lot of the palettes didn't sell out right away and for example like the Wilderness one didn't sell out right away and then slowly people caught on to it and it sold out and then it restocked and so I'm just like saying like to people that are always commenting on my videos saying like I'm not sure if I should get it I'm like listen okay the book of magic y'all slept on it and then it sold out and Beauty Bay was like nope not bringing it back and now there's people out there that regret not buying that palette I even remember I think it was even on like major sale at some point so I say people really snooze on the Beauty Bay formula I think it's beautiful the mats are really nice too but the metallics are so, so good. So they are my underrated eyeshadows. Okay, so the next question is not a favorite but can't get rid of. And I had to pick this palette because this is the Pat McGrath palette with Bridgerton. Now, I'm not a huge fan of when she does six pan eyeshadow palettes like this. I do have her Star Wars palettes. And then when she announced that she was doing a collaboration with Bridgerton, I basically lost my mind because... I just really like the show. It's a good show. I love Reggae John Page. Like, I don't know if I told you guys this story, but if we were going to have a boy, I literally told my husband, I was like, can we name our son Reggae? I was like, that is the coolest name in the history of the world. And he was like, no. 
Um, and if you don't know who Reggae Jean is, he is the actor that plays the Duke. That's his real name. And I just think he's a very sexy. So yeah, I was just like, that's a kick-ass name. Like I like unique names like that. So anyway, he vetoed me on that and we had a girl. So I guess, I guess in the end, neither of us lost that battle. <laughs> But I just really love that show and so I was so excited to see Pat McGrath collab with the show. And honestly, I feel like this palette is hella boring, but I just love the packaging and this launch a couple of days before my birthday this past year. So it has really good memories attached to it. And so yeah, there's no way. Like there's some Pat McGrath palettes. The six pan ones that came out for like Lunar New Year a few years in a row a couple of years ago, I have decluttered because I just didn't like them. But this one, even though I don't love the shades and I don't love the color story, I'll hold on to it because it's her collaboration with Bridgerton. So yeah, I just love that Pat McGrath collapsed with things that I actually like. Okay, the next question is favorite collab. And I'm gonna be sneaky on this one and say that my favorite collab is coming very, very soon. I was actually sent the palette in PR and I cannot show it to you guys yet, but I believe the reveal is coming very, very soon. You're gonna wanna make sure you're refreshing your subscription feeds. And also I'm wearing the palette on my eyes today. So that is why this look is coming up soon and I just think you guys are gonna die because it's such an amazing palette and I'm dying on the inside and I know other creators are also really excited because we were able to get it early in PR so we've been testing it for a few weeks now and it's amazing it's everything I'm so excited so stay tuned for the newest favoritest collaboration in my universe at the moment i'm i'm so excited it's so hard not to talk about it you guys but we will all get to talk about it very very soon so i am so pumped about that but i wanted to be sneaky on that question okay next question 2021 favorite now if you guys know me <laughs> i had a baby in november so december was kind of a whirlwind i did manage to do vlogmas i posted every day i believe except one day, I missed one day. I posted from the 1st of December to the 24th of December, I believe. And so I never did my 2021 rankings video because I had a newborn and I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So now that she's a couple of months old, I have been promising a rankings video and it's still coming. I do realize that it's like the second week of February when you're watching this video and you're allowed to be mad at me, but I am determined to get it done. I keep finding excuses and putting it off, but it's gonna happen. I have most of the palettes pulled. The hardest part is just like getting all the palettes organized because it's a lot of freaking palettes. I think I'm gonna have close to like 200 plus palettes to rank so it's gonna be a lot of freaking work but I'm determined you guys I'm determined to do it so I will but I did pull this out I don't know if this is gonna be my favorite palette of 2021 but this is pretty up there and it's because it's so cool so the Danessa Myricks Lightworks palette which launched last year I wasn't even gonna buy this palette and then I'm like why are you fighting this feeling like don't you want to support Danessa Myricks like she made a kick-ass multi-chrome fill palette that you could have bought at Beautylish at Sephora and I just thought that was the coolest thing ever so I did buy it and honestly this freaking palette is fabulous the shadows are so good such good quality I know the price point was a little iffy for people and I totally understand but realistically you're not gonna really buy multi-chrome shadows as many as are in this palette for anything less than that hundred and I think it was a hundred and twenty five dollar price tag so I am very glad I got this because it's been sold out now for quite a few months I think I heard that she is planning on restocking this so definitely keep your eyes peeled but oh my goodness this palette is so pretty again it's not that there's like this amazing color story or anything but I just feel like there's some really beautiful special eyeshadows in this palette so 
it's just a stunner and I really, really, really like the packaging and everything about this palette. So if she restocks this this year, I would say definitely grab it because if you don't have a lot of like special eyeshadows, this will be a really good one to add to your collection. Okay, so the next question is a palette you didn't expect to love and I feel like I have the perfect answer for this particular question because I really didn't expect to love this palette. Now, I was added to the Unearthly Cosmetics PR list in 2021 and the owner, Amanda, sent out an email talking about our holiday releases and she gave us the option of picking between her two holiday releases. So she gave a brief description on each palette and I actually picked the Smells Like Holiday Spirit palette because this one was described as a grungy, deep, toned matte palette and I was like eh, you know I'm really scared of using dark mattes on my eyes we've come a long way since those days but I didn't pick this one is basically what happened but since I have a discount code with unearthly cosmetics I decided to purchase this with my own money because I like to try out the different palettes that launch from brands that I'm associated or affiliated with because I want to be able to tell you guys if something's good or not. So I really didn't think I was gonna be that blown away by this palette. The color story honestly kind of freaked me out. But then my order arrived and honestly, when I did the eye look with this palette, I was so blown away. It's a very grungy palette, but this shade Illusion just pairs so well with all these deep matte tones and creates the most beautiful eye look. So if you're like me and you're not the best at using dark toned eyeshadows give it a shot take a chance and try it out because you might really fall in love with it and i feel like i have i used to be so scared of shades like this i used to be so terrified of a matte black eyeshadow and now i feel like it's one of my favorite shades when it's included in a palette i love deepening things up with it and it's such a versatile color to have in a palette because if you can deepen something up with a colorful matte you can take a lighter shadow put a black shadow in with it and it'll automatically create a deeper version of that shade which i find super duper 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 helpful when it comes to me because having a more medium tan complexion sometimes it's really hard for me to find a deep enough shade for my outer corner and so black or mattes like this really comes in handy and I love it so, so much. Okay, the next question is a palette that sparks joy and I had to pick the newest palette from Nomad Cosmetics because this palette genuinely makes me think of where I live, which is North Dakota. And if you didn't know anything about the state of North Dakota, it's basically winter here, like seven months of the year. So I am always surrounded by snow and freezing my butt off. And so the fact that somebody made a palette that was like, snowy wintry themed i was like all about it this really does remind me of my home state and i don't know i know it's a canadian palette i get it like it's whistler british columbia i get it but it still reminds me of home and like all those like cozy feelings that you feel during the winter time not to mention this palette is absolutely stunning this was sent to me by the brand and i did do a three looks video with this palette so i would recommend checking it out because this palette is so 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 stunning if you know me you know i love green eyeshadows i love blue eyeshadows and then there's a few like neutral shades thrown in there so i could basically use this as a standalone palette because i love colorful eyeshadows and this one is exceptional i mean it's so good the nomad formula is really really good so this palette definitely sparks joy in my life for a variety of reasons okay the next question is the newest palette in my collection and i feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not really because I wanted to mention a palette that I've ordered, but it's not here yet. So I don't know if I'm supposed to pick a palette that's like here, which in that case, it would be the Colored Rain Chic Collection. I think that's what that collection is called, but, but it's like four mini eyeshadow palettes. I just got that in the mail, I think yesterday. So those are technically my newest eyeshadow palettes that are here in my house but my newest palette is the love notes palette from beauty bay i am so excited for that to come oh my god it's so gorgeous i also did order my husband bought me the p louise palette the queen takes 
something. I don't know. I couldn't stop thinking about the palette, so I bought it. I know, I know, judge me, judge me, it's fine. But I just couldn't stop thinking about it and it was on sale for 40% off, so he did buy me that. So I have like a bunch of new palettes coming my way, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I did tell my husband that I'm trying to get better about buying makeup and buying less eyeshadow palettes so I have more time to play with the palettes I buy. So we'll see, although I did just film my December ranking video and I felt really bad about all of the eyeshadow palettes I had to rank in December <sighs> and I need to film my January haul video so say a little prayer that you know in 2022 we learn to control the spending and uh, buy less eyeshadow palettes but yeah I love eyeshadow palettes it's my favorite thing I don't want to put myself on a no buy or a low buy I've talked about this before because that's basically me setting myself up for failure. So I'm trying a new approach where I don't say it, but I just try to practice being good about it. We'll see, we'll see. So far, we're off to a rough start. Okay, the last question is the first palette I used in 2022. And I actually keep a list now on my phone of the palettes I use because it really helps me with ranking my eyeshadow palettes. So I have a long list. And for the first palette in January, I actually used the Giant Wolves palette by Odin's Eye. This is their collaboration with Annette's Makeup Corner. And this palette is freaking fabulous. The metallics, listen, if there's one brand that knows how to do a good metallic eyeshadow, it's freaking Odin's Eye. And I honestly kind of feel bad for everybody that missed out on these palettes, I do believe they're all sold out now. So yeah, you missed out. And I've been trying, since they did the saga of Freya, I've been trying to let people know Odin's Eye is fabulous. I mean, I think the Norris collection was really good too, but I didn't get as much playtime with that collection. But the Saga of Freya is like right when I got added to their PR. So I received that in PR and then every collection since. So I did get the Giant Wolves palette in PR. So I kept telling people not to pass up on the Legendary Diversa collection because I knew it was limited edition and I knew they weren't going to restock it. And I kept telling people, I was like, don't don't miss out on the Odin's Eye Black Friday sale because they had a stellar sale and people people didn't listen to me. They didn't buy the palette and now I see comments saying that you wish you had bought the palette and you know what? There's no one to blame but yourself. But jokes aside, you guys, I'm really loving Odin's Eye. Their formula, I swear, from the first time I tried them to now has come such a long way. The metallics are so creamy. The mattes blend like butter. And so if you like the same kind of eyeshadow palettes that I do, highly recommend if there's any left or if you can get your hands on the Saga Freya or anything that they come out with in the future, keep your eye out because their freaking formula is fabulous. I will say, shameless plug, I do have a code with them. It's KH Makeup, just like all my other codes. And you do save some money on Odin's Eye as well. And this palette was gifted to me. So that is it, y'all. Those are the answers to the eyeshadow palette tag round two created by Samantha March and Allie Glines. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my friend Angie's video. I know it's going to be good. She loves eyeshadow palettes. I would say, you know, it's not a contest, but I would say that we both love eyeshadow palettes so, so much. So... I'm very excited to hear her answers and thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite eyeshadow palette of 2021 is. I love talking to you guys in my comments so let me know what you think and I will see you in a new video tomorrow. Bye guys!